Hello, hello. So this is my M.2 NVMe drive from Intel. And um, it's getting not super hot, but when I was uh, playing some Minecraft, I noticed it was going up to about 55 degrees Celsius. So I actually found this little thing. You can see with my finger here, it's kind of small. And this is actually a uh, CPU cooler. And it belongs to a Pentium 1 processor, 200 megahertz. Yeah, megahertz. And it got this little fan here <laughs> with it. And you see the four holes here for the screws. And this is really tiny. <laughs> really really tiny so yeah it's flat like this you see the markings from the CPU over there <laughs> so I have of course removed the fan and uh, I was thinking of having this as somewhat of a cooler because uh, you see it's uh, very thin so uh, I was thinking of having it like you see it kind of fits right over the memory cells like this you can still use the screw over there and I might, I'm actually going to cut it let's see if I can pull it up I will actually cut these edges off this this one so it actually goes right next to the fins here same thing on this side I remove this edge and then I might actually just cut it in half somewhere here because if you have it like this you see the it goes about half half of it and then I might actually cut the other half in a quarter and this quarter will go on top of that one so yeah because there are something that is getting kind of hot so I think it might be that one and how will I actually fit this one on here? Well, it doesn't have any screws or anything. And there are a thermal paste that have some kind of epoxy in it. So called epoxy paste. But I don't have that, so I will have just the regular paste that I got with the CPU cooler from the Cooler Master cooling paste. And have a tiny tiny amount on them not that much and then I'm actually going to use uh, regular zip ties to kind of wrap around everything because when it's installed on the motherboard uh, there's actually a gap between the motherboard and the drive itself so the zip ties can actually fit underneath it so yeah I will kind of try that so uh, I get back to you alrighty then so uh, I got the coolers there I also removed the uh, label on the uh, drive I just put it on a sticker or a paper note so I actually cleaned this up with uh, some acetone and I clean up with the cooler and this area so that I don't want to touch it too much on that surface but uh, anyway this is sort of oh, camera here so this cooler will fit right up here it will uh, cover all the circuits here so it's perfect length and I also have the screw there and this little one here and should fit right over this one like that so perfect so I got the little cooler here for my M.2 so the next thing will be Thermal paste. Um, so let's see 
how I should fix this. God, I'm watching through my camera here. Uh, I'm not going to use that much, just so that it gets some contact. So let's see, I haven't really used this paste in a while, so let's see if I can just... Something like this, maybe. I don't want too much because I don't want it to uh, go over the circuits. A little dot over here. And same thing with this one. Could use a little bit more perhaps than this one. That is almost empty. Yeah, and I will kind of smear this out a little bit using just the zip tie here so that get a little bit of contact at least. Should have something hard, harder, but ah, kind of works because this paste is kind of thick. Just getting it out a little bit. Something like that, and get some extra over here. Well, that's kind of enough. It's not getting that super hot anyway. So let's clean this off for now. Okay, so let's actually start with this big one. Let's see. Oops. Should be something like that. Let's see how it is. looks this way. Get it a little bit centered. I'll just press it down a little bit. Do it like this. Oops. Okay, so let's take. I think it came out a little bit on this this side. Let's see here if I can. God, this is so thin. Let's see if I can get this zip tie. Something like this. Let's get it this side. Okay, that's one. Let's get the second one here. Okay, that kind of works. So I get back to you with the next one. <laughs> okay then, so this is it. Uh, <laughs> get
ghetto style cooler for your M.2 it still works it fits perfectly so there you go <laughs> so yeah it's really nice and this should fit you see it's sticking out but this is kind of the gap between stuff so I will see how it works but uh, yeah I get back to you with some results so yeah I will put it in my PC now so yeah see you later okay so got a bit of a paperweight there but uh, this is how it looks in my PC right now and uh, there's the M.2 and I guess I can't have any uh, cards in that PC Express port there anymore but I don't really use it so yeah this is my PC right now and yeah so that's the CPU cooler and underneath it's the i5 6600K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz so that's the GTX 660 that I have and underneath there is a red card little one there and then just an eSATA port going to the SATA port there and then the sound card so yeah that fits perfectly so now we'll just see how cool it will be and that's the memory by the way 16 gigs 2133 megahertz so yeah so let's see how that works see you later hello so uh, I'm in Windows now and uh, I've been running this crystal disk mark test and actually ran it twice just to heat up the cooler on the SSD a little bit and uh, here you can see it's the Intel SSD or M.2 and uh, previously the idle temp was about 41 degrees Celsius which is about 104 something degrees Fahrenheit around there and the idle temp right now seems to be about 35 degrees Celsius, which is 95 Fahrenheit. So it's about a 6 degree difference with having the cooler or not. And the max temperature came up to 56 and that was for like a couple of seconds only. So it was about 55 consist consistently or all the time. So yeah, about 55, 56 degrees seems to be the max temp now and the max temp before was about 61, 62 degrees Celsius. So it's the same there, about 5, 6 degrees difference. So that cooler doesn't really do that much, but it seems to be that the temperature is a little bit more stable and also it cools down a little bit faster as well so it doesn't hurt to have a cooler at least and if you have like an uh, Samsung 960 Pro or something th those get really hot so uh, you kind of need a cooler for those because uh, when uh, the M.2 gets really hot it will sort of throttle itself so you won't get the same full performance so uh, yeah I keep it anyway <laughs> now that I have it there but it doesn't make that difference at least on this Intel SSD or M.2 but if you have it as I said the 960 Pro you might want to actually have a cooler for that so that you get the full performance so yeah that's it for now so see you later